everybody. I'm here with Corky from the CJs in Los Angeles, California, United States. How are you, Corky? I'm good. How are you doing, Ryan? Excellent. Uh, it was a real treat to uh, to get your CD in the mail and check it out. And uh, there will be a review coming up. But, Fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I when I turned it over and I saw Dave Klein was involved, I'm like, all right, well, it's going to sound great. <laughs> but yeah. then the playing just uh, it was like the cherry on top, you know. So talk about the whole process of making that. Yeah. Yeah, he Dave is a character and a half for sure. And um I had a great time working with him and I'm I'm hoping to to be able to continue that uh, and do in the next EP, which is probably going to be within the next six months i'm i'm planning great great yeah dave is cool <clears throat> so so tell me um how, how you got this this release together and, and how you put it together and what was what was your goal with the band when you put this out well it's a um a, a, a kind of a circuitous route um during covid everything just stopped work wise and um even session work was was kind of halted and um so i was just i needed something and uh, so i answered an ad in the um uh in craigslist for a surf band and i had i had been a surf guy from the early days like um when i started learning guitar um my older brother and I would play venture songs and trade off who would play rhythm and who would play lead. Then, of course, the British Invasion, Hendrix, Beatles, whatnot, and surf music disappeared. And it kind of disappeared from, from my life for decades. So I answered this ad and went, went down to Culver City and um, played with these guys and um, ended up starting a band, but the band quickly evolved into my arrangements and the, the these guys wanted to do more John and the Night Riders covers and and things so we we parted ways and I continued on with my uh, arranging and I like to arrange songs that have never been done as a surf song and turn them into a surf song like Touch of Evil for example you, mm -hmm. you won't, won't hear that arrangement that version those those melodies anywhere so even though henry mancini wrote the original the surf version of it is totally different so i enjoy doing this kind of thing i do i have one that'll probably be on the next ep uh tom york uh adams for peace again another song that's not wouldn't be considered a surf song but i i turned it into one and i i think it's really cool and so anyway, I just kept going with my arrangements, and and then I thought, well, I better I better get this out there on a on a on an EP CD and and uh, see where where it might go. Nice, nice. Uh, why don't you tell me about those guitars hanging up in the back there? Uh, they're they're all beautiful. Well, the one on my this one here, that's my very first electric guitar. Bought it in 1964, and it's a uh, a harmony, stratotone. And this one, I this one's only, I've only had this one maybe about 20 years. That's another stratotone. And then I've got my Jerry Jones baritone, Jerry Jones 12 string. And let's see if I can tilt this over. There'd be oh wow. come with two pro the airline. Um, so these are some of the guitars. Do you want me to pan around and? show you the studio or or what yeah that'd be great let me unplug well wait i can't unplug that right so we've got my amps over here can you see that good oh, enough yeah. oh yeah all right um it's, it's all sorts of stuff over there um guitars over here um it's hard to hard to navigate this but I, you know i i've been collecting guitars for a long long time and i've managed to um 
managed to to be lucky enough to to hang on to a lot of them. Um, Jazz Master is my my number one surf guitar. I, mean, hold on, I think that's right here. This one. Oh, nice. 64. Yeah, this one's a beauty. Yeah. Uh, and so that's that. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, so tell me some of the some of the veins that you're looking to cover. I, 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 I know, like, what's your dream cover? Some of your dream covers. You know, it, it's funny you ask. I, I have every day I hear a song and I go, gosh, I, I can, I could turn that into, to a, a, a great surf song. Recently, there's a, a show, I think it's on HBO called um, Mayor of Kingstown. Okay. Theme song is is so simple and but haunting at the same time and I and I and I'm and I'm kind of dreaming of turning that into something but I, I haven't started on that yet I, I I can't keep up with with so many songs <laughs> nice uh, well is, uh, before we sign off is there anything you'd like to mention or talk about that I haven't. I, ha I haven't asked, or is there anything you would ask me? We do have a live show um, August 18th, which is actually the pre-release um, date for the for the CD. And the CD is called A Touch of Terror. And on August 18th, it'll be on all platforms, Spotify, Apple, Pandora, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then the in the band is Sam Bole, who is such a, a great guy and a, and a, has become a friend and um, an amazing player. So I'm, I'm just, I'm pinching myself every day that, that he was able to do it and was, was interested to do it. Um, on drums, I, I haven't solidified the drummer um, full-time yet, but for the show is gonna be my good friend, Josh Dean. And he was in the um, previous one of the previous versions of that surf band that I told you about, and um, so I'm really pleased that uh, that he's going to be able to do this. So um, I don't know. Come on, come out on August 18th, where we go on at um, 2 p.m. Huntington Beach Pier. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, where uh, where are you located? I'm in Philadelphia. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay, you told me. Yeah, yeah. Well, have fun at the Pierce show. Uh, it's a beautiful area. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a killer gig, and it's I've done it uh, I guess two or three times now, and every time is just amazing. So I'm really looking forward to that. Cool, man. You, you have a great day. Mm -hmm.